Come with us as we tour the village of St. Catherine. Hi everybody, I'm Dave. And I'm Brenda. Today we are at the village of St. Catherine. We're going to tour this village. Uh, first we'll go up with the drone and give you an aerial view. And then we'll go down on the ground with the golf cart and take you through the neighborhoods and show you what uh, St. Catherine looks like. So come on as we go check it out. Let's go. Welcome to the village of St. Catherine. We're gonna start off by taking the drone up and flying over St. Catherine. We'll have to take flights from three separate areas in order to cover uh, St. Catherine and still keep my drone in sight. Uh, we'll start with a quick kind of a sweeping view to give you some perspective how large this area is. All of that you see there, that's all St. Catherine. Uh, that's the uh, Sawgrass Grove Entertainment Area, Ezel Recreation Center, all under construction to be the putt and play. And all those homes are St. Catherine in various stages of construction. Some people have moved in there already. And even on this side of the road right here is also St. Catherine. This is the first section that was built of St. Catherine. Uh, you go in St. Catherine entrance and take the first left and it'll take you to this area. The homes at the top of this picture are actually in the village of Hawkins that we have uh, already toured. You know, check out that video. Now entering from St. Catherine's Circle, take that first left and it's gonna take you into this section, which is the first homes that were built in St. Catherine. Many people already live here, but you can see there's still some lots that have not been built. Those are not for sale, to, to my understanding. I think those will be spec homes or their lots that were already purchased. Now notice the walking path that goes along the village of St. Catherine. Uh, following the ponds, it's very typical of uh, the villages to put walking paths along the ponds. That bridge is the entrance that's coming from the village of Bradford and farther off in the distance, actually the village of Chitty Chatty also. Now we relocated the drone to a second area of St. Catherine. The area circled is where we were flying the first section uh, a few minutes ago. Now we've moved to an area that's along the wood line that is gonna be in the middle section of St. Catherine. Now that roadway you see that comes off of the roundabout is a St. Catherine circle and it circles through St. Catherine, Catherine arching around the Sawgrass Grove Entertainment Area, which is the center part of St. Catherine. Now here is the future village of Cason Hammock. This is the Southern Oaks Championship Golf Course. This is the Sawgrass Grove Entertainment Area and Ezel uh, Regional Recreation Center, along with the Clifton Cove Putting Course. And right over here is the Citrus Grove, uh, the village of Citrus Grove, which is the next village they have started to construct. I'm always impressed with how fast uh, these areas have been developed. I mean, it's quality construction, but a year ago, this whole area was just dirt. And you can see how much has happened in that short of a time period. Now this is still St. Catherine's Circle uh, that we've been following from the beginning. It's still arching around uh, the Sawgrass Grove area and connects back to Megason Road. And you'll notice here in St. Catherine, they've kept the same pattern they did in Chitty Chatty and Bradford by putting those retention ponds along the wood line and then using the space between the retention ponds and the wood lines for the walking trails. That walking trail actually goes all the way around the outer edge of St. Catherine with several access uh, points that kind of pop in from the main neighborhood of St. Catherine. 
Now, these lots are no longer available, but I'm sure uh, they went for a pretty penny. Uh, they're large enough for a pool and a decent sized house. So they're very, very nice lots with, with a view. And you can see as we kind of fly through this center section of uh, St. Catherine that these homes are pretty much done through here. A lot of cars in the driveways, people have moved in. Um, life is uh, already normal without the construction around them in that center part. But then straight ahead, that area still has a lot going on, a lot of construction. Uh, that's where houses are just kind of going out on the market. And we'll turn our attention to the uh, St. Catherine Pool and Postal Station. Uh, this is right here in the center part. It's St. Catherine arches around it just like it does the Ezell Recreation Center and Sawgrass Grove Entertainment Area. Notice that kidney-shaped pool. That seems to be a new thing they're doing now, uh, having pools that have a little shape to it rather than square. And it's also right there on that pond with a view. I've noticed several of them being done that way recently. Now look at that view. Imagine sitting in the pool as these individuals are and you're able to look out over the water line. Um, just really good setting for the, uh, the neighborhood pool. And again, the neighborhood pool is for ages 30 and older. If you have family in town that's under 30, you have to take them to the family pool. This here is the postal station. As we've shown in many videos, you don't have mailboxes at your home. Everyone needs to go to the postal station to pick up their mail. And this is the postal station for St. Catherine. Now we'll do a sweeping turn across the most southern portion of St. Catherine. Uh, this will be the, the lower third, I'll call it, of St. Catherine, though it has probably the majority of the houses. We're going to need to relocate the drone to go fly over that area. You can see off in the distance the power lines are going all the way across the back. That's where we're going to relocate to, is along the power line. Now we've relocated the drone to the power line area. We're going to sweep that to the right uh, here shortly. But I'll get you oriented. The main roadway right there is Megason Road. We're kind of looking to the northwest. Here's a quick glimpse over here to the left of the future village of Citrus Grove. Uh, we'll do a video on that in the future. And of course, up in the top right, that's the uh, Ezell Recreation Center and Sawgrass Grove Entertainment Area. And we'll go ahead and fly along the power lines, looking at the, uh, the, t the last section of St. Catherine. I do want to point out this area right there. That's just some prime lots right there. They, I, I don't think they put them on the market yet. Um, I assume that they will sell those rather than put spec homes on it because they're just a gorgeous uh, a point to be on, be on a cul-de-sac with uh, water all the way around it. But we'll continue flying along the power line. Notice that this area, there's still more uh, areas to be built, more lots that uh, have not been filled in or houses in various stages of construction. They're just bringing some of these houses uh, being sold now, but a whole lot more will rapidly be coming uh, on the market as they're finished up in the coming weeks. You can see lots and lots of houses that are uh, on the ponds here houses with a view. Um, I think most of those are probably spec homes. I don't think those are, are custom builds. Maybe a couple of them, but I, I suspect that there'll be a lot of homes with a view that'll be coming on the market uh, in the next few weeks. And you can see it's just a tremendous number of homes back in this back section of St. Catherine. Kind of secluded from the main roadway and uh, back towards the the wood line. And we'll go ahead and fly from the power line 
direct to the Sawgrass Grove entertainment area. Just to give a feel of how far it is. I think it's it's walkable. Um, definitely a, a, a golf cart will get you there really quick. But if you're after, for an afternoon walk, you could walk anywhere in St. Catherine and get to the entertainment area of Sawgrass Grove. As I bring the drone back in for a landing, um, the area beyond the power lines where the construction's at, you'll see there's m uh, many footings that have been poured or foundations, probably eight or 10. They'll probably have walls up by the end of the week by the time I have this video up. I'm not sure if that is part of St. Catherine or potentially it is considered part of across the street area of um, Citrus Grove. So time will tell, but right now I'm not sure which section that is. And then just a little teaser before we go on the ground, take the golf cart riding through St. Catherine. That is the village of Citrus Grove. And you can see their postal station and neighborhood pool is almost complete. I'm sure they'll be selling homes in there shortly. Alright everybody, we are just coming off of Megason Road, entering into the village of St. Catherine. It's a beautiful day today. Not a cloud in the sky, and it's just very nice. And you'll see straight ahead, the golf cart path, or the multimodal path, is closed. That is heading over to the Sawgrass Grove construction area. So the area we're going to go, waiting on some traffic, but the area that we're going to be going, um, we're going to go into the neighborhood and around. Some of you, if you were to buy a home on the far side of St. Catherine, you'll eventually be able to use that multimodal path in a couple of months. All right, so we're turning into St. Catherine. We're going to kind of go to this section over to the left. I kind of look at it, it's all one village but I had to fly it in three sections with the drone. It's so large. So this is kind of the first area that uh, we flew and they were kind of built in succession. This is the first area of St. Catherine that was built. There's still some homes being built. And um, some empty home sites. Yeah, you know, some empty home sites. Wow. But this is where the first uh, places were broken ground. Now these lots, uh, currently, I don't believe these are for sale. I think these are going to be spec homes. As we travel through the village here, uh, we get in the, the section that has more activity in it right now. We'll pull up uh, some houses that are for sale and kind of go by and give you a visual on the outside of you know what a certain amount of money gets you uh, in the village of St. Catherine. Now there's people you can tell have moved in. We've got some, uh, a lot of homes here already have people in them. Yeah, as you notice because of the cars and the boxes from moving. Yeah. Now we're very close from this spot here, close to the Aviary Recreation Center. That's a village recreation center. That's sort of the middle size. That has a family pool. So if you come out of St. Catherine and you turn to the right, it would take you over to Aviary. Just a two or three minute ride from where we're at right now. But the highlight, I guess, of St. Catherine, wouldn't you say, is Sawgrass? Oh, I think so. The location, you're right here at Sawgrass. And that's going to be such a nice area when it's finished being built with the entertainment, the shopping, the rec uh, recreation that's available right there. Sawgrass has, um, I'm sorry, Sawgrass is in the very center of uh, St. Catherine. It's like they built around it, uh, the homes, in a kind of arching around that whole complex. So it, and it's, it's the center point of it all. 
Now there, we talked about having a family pool over at the Aviary Recreation Center, which is just outside of St. Catherine. At the uh, at Sawgrass, that'll have a sports pool. And a sports pool is just the way it sounds. They do more uh, programmed activities, I guess you would say. But either it would be set up for lap swimming or maybe water polo uh, or water volleyball. Um, that type of activity. And St. Catherine does have its own neighborhood pool that is very close to Sawgrass. And it's still very center uh, of the neighborhood. So the neighborhood pool, we're heading back out here where we just pulled into this area. The neighborhood pool is for 30 years of age and older. That's your adults here are 30 and older. If you're 29, you're not considered an adult for the adult pool. You gotta go to the family pool. All right, to our right, just can't really see it, just off camera, that is the entrance into St. Catherine that we came in on. We're going to go back out on this road. This is St. Catherine Trail, I believe. I'll, I'll check the name. The St. Catherine go. Circle. Circle. Yes. Makes sense because it kind of goes around it in does. a circle. So St. Catherine Circle is going to kind of um, weave its way through all of St. Catherine. And all the way through St. Catherine Circle, you have the cart path on the roadway here. Going across the front of St. Catherine out on Megasin Road. We'll turn in here. Uh, across the front of, the, of Megasin Road is where there's multimodal path to be able to carry you past St. Catherine or to the far end of St. Catherine to the next villages that are coming. The Citrus Groves, I think it's Newell, and there's a couple other ones that are coming. And I've got the... Um real estate map here and there is nothing that is listed today for sale in this area right here okay you're not on uh i am open house. yeah right oh, okay yeah okay. i'm on this the um so let me know when we sale. get to one that's for sale yes and we'll give you an idea of what things cost today in this area now on the left hand side i'm kind of working along the edge of st catherine kind of meandering south um a little bit in the way behind me but these are up against ponds you can't really see the pond it's down down the uh, hill there if you had a house you'd see it and then on the far side of the ponds in the standard fashion that they do now in the villages there's walking trails so you can walk along the path along uh, the waterways and along the tree lines that's sort of like a nature peaceful. walk yeah it would be very peaceful to do that now these lots are sold, um, or either being held for spec houses. I suspect yeah. that they were already sold. There's they went up. They, I think they went quickly. The yeah. only lots is of this morning that I saw in St. Catherine that were uh, home sites available are interior lots. Now there are sections as we work our way south in St. Catherine that they're just getting to, and I would not be surprised if maybe some more lots come up. You can talk with a sales agent and find out. But uh, there are none as of today that are for sale. But every day those things change. Let's see, we are. Brenda's looking at the app here, so we get her a bearing. Yeah. Umland Lane and Patterson Loop. Yes. And right up here, let's see, they still have it closed because they're in the middle of this construction area. But this is not a golf cart path. That'll be. An entrance into through the neighborhood to go into the walking trails that go around St. Catherine. And it looks like um, quite a lot of walking trails around. Yeah, St. Catherine is kind of nestled along the edge of the wood line. I, I maybe the back side of the Chitty Chatty Preserve. Um, it's close to there. I don't, I don't know if it's technically the preserve or not. And you can see that house ahead is sold. Congratulations to so congrats Steve and Steve Robin. And Robin. <laughs> I like it when they put it in the window. <laughs> now this village is really is large for the ones that we've been doing the tours on. Uh, we're not going to go down every street in this village. We just will kind of give you some ideas of what it, what the feel is. Right over here, so you can see some of the villas. There are all types of homes in here. Um, verandas, villas, uh, 
your designer homes. Burnham Villas. Yeah, we'll loop around. These are patio villas. Any of the Burnham's Nothing. and cooler. Yeah. Nothing for sale listed here. Okay. Now, in the main part of the village, villages, not in the new construction, you uh, can go by the villages app to find out what the villages has for sale, but some people list their homes through a real estate agent uh, separate from the villages. You can do that with a pre-owned home. So to find all the, the homes for sale, you would also need to look at uh, a real estate agent or, or you, know, you can look at Zillow or something like that and look in the villages uh, agent. It's two separate systems. But all these new homes, I don't need to look at a, a real estate agent because they are only sold by the village sales agents. So all these new areas down here until there is a resale. And I don't think there's any of them in this section yet. No, it's they, not. Uh, they'll all be through the villages. Here's some more of these. Um, Carport. Carport style. Well, I mean, it's past it. Yeah. But they're starting to put those everywhere in the villages. They're starting to catch on. They'll put a few of them in. Very cost effective as compared to some of the other homes. All right, straight ahead, we're still kind of working our way right beside uh, St. Catherine Circle. But straight ahead is the neighborhood pool. The neighborhood pool there, you can see a few people in swimming. And it is nestled up against a pond. Um, you may saw in the, in the flyover that I did at the beginning. It's kind of a kidney-shaped pool. It's they kind of changed the design recently. I've noticed of the neighborhood pools. They got a little more shape to them. They're not just square, and they seem to be putting them with a view up against ponds quite often, which is really nice. If you go that way, we got some here for sale. Okay. If you want to take. We're going to ride over here. She has found one that's for sale that we're near. That ahead is the back of the Ezel Recreation Center. Take a right on there in place. The Ezel Recreation Center is part of the Sawgrass Grove Complex. It's right here in the center of St. Catherine. And again, a lot of people have already moved in this area. on this road? Yes. Alright. It's going to be coming up here on the right. I think this is the gray one. it right here. Yeah, I see my this is an anchor. This is an anchor. It's three bedroom, two bath. 1,537 square feet and it's for sale for $271,780. How many square feet? Um, 1,537. Alright. So that'll give you a little perspective. And that was $271,780. That is on an interior lot. Yes. And we're probably yeah. considered, I don't know if there's a little path there, maybe walking distance to Sawgrass. Uh, if you, I can see, see the top path. of the building to the right, so I'm sure if they have a cut through up here on the right, yes. it would definitely be walking distance. I see. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, there it is. There's, I bet you that's going to be a walking path right. or some kind of cut through right there. Walk to the end there. of the street. Right there's a little it's sidewalk a, that's yeah. heading. Hasn't been finished, but it's going right over there to Ezel Regional Recreation Center and Sawgrass Grove and Entertainment Area. Yeah. And uh, there's three, four more houses for sale in this area, and they're all ranging. The lowest is 268000 and the highest is 290000 okay. And those are all interior? Uh, when I say they're you, interior, um, no, the 280 and the 290 are not interior. It's ones on the road. Okay. And, um, right. Yeah. But nothing with a view. I can't tell from this yeah. picture. It's going to be on yeah, the grass. Yeah, uh, they're building villas in there, okay. so that's going to be a wall. All right. There. So that's going to be a wall. So yeah, the 290, you're going to you're going to be backing up to St. Catherine Circle, which is this street right here. Yeah, you're realistic. You're not going to find in that price range anything with a view. There will be interior. All right. 
it. We're still here at the neighborhood pool. I'm going to kind of pull through the lot. This is your postal station for St. Catherine. So this is where you would come. It's kind of in the center of St. Catherine. Come here to get your mail or swim in the adult pool, the neighborhood pool, which a lot of people are doing today. It's kind of warm. We're approaching 90 degrees. I think the pool is happening. Bright sun, not a cloud in the sky. I think I got a little bit of a sunburn while I had the drone up. Okay, there's a house for sale in here for four hundred thirteen thousand. All right, we're. So it's going to be a corner house. On uh, not this corner, but the next corner. All right. So we're looking at the back of it right now. That gray house right there. All right. So I'll give you a little quick view of the back, and we'll go around to the front. It's going to be, it's a mossy oak, three bedroom, three bath, 1928 square feet, 1,928 square feet. It's $413,238. A corner lot's a little more expensive. And so you can see, lot. yeah, and, and then you can see that you'll be able to, you can see the postal station from your back, yeah, the walk, back area. Walking distance to there and, and sawgrass. Distance, yeah, we're walking distance to sawgrass, I agree. Yeah. Block and stucco construction. Oh, I see. And I think right across the street, right here, right here, you're pulling up to it right now. Stanley. This is a Sequoia, um, three bedroom, two bath, 1,541 square feet, 312,632. And that's going to be an interior because you can look in the backyard and you're going to see your neighbor right behind you. Now, these prices will vary a lot depending on what finishes are inside. So we, we haven't seen how those are finished in there. Um, these are all spec homes. The designers, I understand they kind of compete a little bit. They get to, they get to look around their uh, design homes and uh, you know trying to do things that they think people would like. This one right here on your right is a Putnam. Now here, this is different because it's got four bedrooms. Four, four bedrooms, two bath, 2,004 square feet, and it's listed at $359,472. And it is interior because I can see the yeah. house behind it. Looks like it has a But that's one of the few, you know, four bedrooms that you see around here. Yeah, it looked like you had a second floor. Very rare that you find a room upstairs. All right, let's just keep moving now. Yeah, and, that was uh, a good look yeah, at some prices, get some feel for prices yeah. around here. But I'm saying the design team will uh, work on different homes. They don't always put basics on the inside. Sometimes they try and make them look different though. I said there was a competition when we were doing ours where they actually, uh, I, they got like, I don't know if it was a bonus, but they, they got some incentive to design a home with the, de or decorating the interior and with how- With the finishes. With the yeah. finishes and how well that, that went and... over. It yeah. uh, was a competition between some of them. Years ago is what we heard, and whoever sold it the fastest, like the house um, sold, got to do another one and another one. So, and that, um, that way they were able to kind of perfect their interior design work. And have fun at the, at the same time. Exactly. But my point was, is that affects the price of a home. You may have some that have a, a high-definition laminate countertop, and others may end up with a you know granite countertop so one may have uh, vinyl plank flooring and others may have carpet so these are just rough numbers we're giving you from the outside not knowing what the inside looks like what we're going to do uh, i'm working on a video now we're going to see if you like them let me know if you do um, so they have open houses here every day and that's Kind of something people, when they visit, they love to go to the open houses, just look at what's going on. People that live here do too. We go to open houses, oh. just look at it, yeah, decorating we're, it. We're not planning to move, and I love going to open in, open houses and just seeing the, the layouts, the so we're gonna try, choices. We're going to try some video of an open house and see if you enjoy that. So you kind of experience what it's like going through, and then you can see the interiors and put some prices and compare that with what the interior finishes look like. Now these homes on the left, they're also, we're on, kind of along the tree line and along a pond. Uh, most of these, I would think, are custom built homes for people that bought the lots. These were probably high dollar lots that mm -hmm. sold quickly and I see- A pool, some a hot pools. tub. 
being built right there. Yeah, so that right there is a pool. That's the the yeah the spa that will spill into the pool there. What a nice view they have right on the lake, and then the woods behind that. Yeah, and, and that, that thing's listed for sale on this strip. Yeah, that type of house is, uh, or that type of view, it's it's a little pricey. If that's what you're looking for, you'll have you'll have to pay for something like that. Um, some of the most cost-effective we found. Uh, if you're looking for a little bit of a view, it's maybe to have a pond or something behind you, but on the other side of that pond is another row of houses or a road. Like right there. Um, like that'll, the that'll give you a, a little better pricing. They're still much more expensive than interior lots. These prices we gave you on the homes were all interior. Can you, is there anything on the app that shows uh, on the, a view? I don't uh, think there were when I looked not at the right, Not today, but I mean, things change every single day, yeah. so there might be tomorrow. But as of right now, I'm looking at the app, there is nothing on the water. They tend to sell pretty quickly. Oh, here's some over there. Okay, all right. Spotted it. That's going to be on Gilson Loop. And how far over is that? It's That's a back away, so we yeah. probably won't be able to show those today. You can always pull up the Villages app. They have a section there. You can see homes that are for sale. You can see where they're at. And you can pull up pictures of the interior of them also. Which trying to I get... like to do too. Yeah. But I... it's still better walking through it yourself. It definitely is. <laughs> Avenue. So we're just such a large area. We're meandering through St. Catherine. It's easy to get lost. I think I kind of have. Waiting to find a road that I recognize. This might be up here. This place is huge. Oddwell Way. Don't know that one. Um, I'm going to work my way to the left. We were deep, deep into St. Catherine there. I was chasing the houses that were on the thing, so yeah. we got off, off track a little bit. Now All right, are, I found you. There's Deanna, yeah. and we just came to Roundel. Yeah. They'll be coming up, I would think, soon on... St. Catherine Circle. Now here's an example, I'll turn here in a minute, of homes that, that may be reasonable, reasonable in cost, or home sites. See here, you have water, but you have homes behind that. But it, they're a distance away, so they won't be staring in your back door. So that, that is probably the most cost-effective site with a view is something of that nature. Now I want to work my way over here to the right. There are some lots. They're not for sale yet. I'm, I'm guessing that eventually they will sell these. I can't imagine they will put spec homes on it because the lots are amazing. There's nothing built in it yet. All right, we've made our way back to St. Catherine Circle. Okay, I'm gonna go to the right. I'm oh, sorry, to the left. And okay, we're still kind of on St. Catherine Circle, working our way southerly. Over here, this road coming up, I believe, is the one. Here it is. Colony Court. Conley. Yeah, Conley. Conley Court. They've got a cul-de-sac that has been built out into one of the retaining ponds. So you'd be on a cul-de-sac, on water, um, with the view across the water. And there are some homes on the other side which may help the, keep the cost reasonable. Across the street. Yeah, across the street. 
across the water. Well, end street. End, end yeah. street. Yeah. See, it's the water street and then the This cul-de-sac, every one of these lots, you can kind of see around the bend there, it's almost like a little island. There's water that goes all the way around. So everybody's going to be on water and on the cul-de-sac. It's beautiful. But they don't show that for sale at all yet? Not at all. I'm looking right here at the We're on lots. The, kind of on the far southern part of St. Catherine. Got a little bit farther to go. And then we will be getting to Citrus Grove. We're not going to cover that today, but that's the next area. You'll get a glimpse of it today. And you'll see how quickly that is also popping up. Nothing for sale in there yet. They're just building a lot of the spec homes, but they're building a lot of them. And they will have some gorgeous views that'll be on uh, the championship golf course over at Southern Oaks Golf Course. And all the houses on the left, I, nothing is listed as on the market yet. I'm following along. Yeah, they're all spec homes. Yeah, nothing. All right, we're kind of at, coming to the end. St. Catherine Circle will go straight ahead and it will run into Megason Road in another block or two. But this road here, I'm going to turn in, is Seth Road. Seth yeah. Run. Seth Run, all right. I want to come down this re road just to show you these power lines are up here ahead, I believe, are marking the edge of St. Catherine. But the map so far, I'm really making it clear where the cutoff is. So I'm pretty sure. So we're I know this is. I know this is St. Catherine. On this side. But the road goes across the power lines here, and there's a lot more houses that are on this side. We'll just get a glimpse of it. I am pretty confident. This is my guess that these <laughs> homes over here Confid are the a part confident guess. Our Citrus Grove. Citrus Grove, I know, is on the other side of Megason, but on this side, it just, this seemed a little disconnected other than that one road. Just because of all the land of the power lines yeah. between yeah, the two. get a, a view like this. You can see to the right all the foundations that are going, the homes in multiple states of construction ahead, and then the blue roofs way down there <laughs> are on the other side of Megason. That's part of uh, Citrus Grove. There's a whole lot more that isn't in the camera view right now. Yeah, we know that is Citrus Grove, yeah. where you see the blue roofs. Yeah, Citrus Grove is booming. Um, we're, we've moved quite a distance, or they've moved quite a distance building homes in a short time period. And the next time we come through here, I bet you all the walls will be starting here at the foundation. Oh yeah, they'll have walls on that by the end of the week, I bet. Mm -hmm. So, All right, I hope you enjoyed that tour of St. Catherine, and join us next time as we'll find another village to tour. We hope you enjoyed your tour of St. Catherine. Yep, there is a whole lot of homes available here. Uh, they're still building fast, but there's a lot of them for sale in St. Catherine. This is sort of a hot spot right now. Then coming right behind it's going to be Citrus Grove. They're starting to build there. I think you're going to see houses for sale over there soon. And we'll do a video on that uh, in the near future. But if you enjoyed this video, do us a favor. Give us a thumbs up. If you would, hit the subscribe button and also press the bell and that'll notify you the next time we explore the villages.